Hey, but one more point, though, I, I find it absolutely vital to mention, you know, is I have to put my place, well, I have to, well what I'm going to do is bring clarity to my position regarding certain things, because I believe there's a whole lot of misunderstanding and obscurity concerning it about me as a person, you know what I'm saying, and my art form and my craft, you know, so I'm going to clarify it, you know, look, first off, I'll rip, you know, I live for God, and for God, I'm going to die. You know what I'm saying? As simple as that. So that off rip, you know, I'm letting you know that, you know, okay, me, like as far as the expression of my testimonies and things, you know, so that God may be glorified, so others be inspired. Or just because the truth, the nature of the truth is what's supposed to shine anyway. You know, so what I want to say is, you know, there's no force of evil or darkness, Satan, you know, nothing that's bound, like, like that put me in a position to where I feel as though, my testimony of God is too much. My testimony of the Lord is too much. You know, I mean, I don't see why, you know. I guess I guess what I'm saying is, if my testimony is off limits, or is, is forbidden, or is banned or something, then so should the testimony be of um, other artists as well. You know what I'm saying? And this particular artist that, you know what I'm saying, I feel like they should be subject to the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That stuff needs to be taken out of society or hidden from being exposed. Because, I you mean, know, if people are talking about their life and stuff, then why can't I talk about mine? You know what I'm saying? And it's as simple as that. You know, they can't, I mean, what, what? You know, that's illegal, you know what I'm saying? And it's un immoral and everything in order to render my stuff, you know what I'm saying, in violation, you know, blatant violation. Render my stuff not, you know, um, acceptable or not, you know what I'm saying, worthy to be expressed or promulgated or promoted. You know, I don't feel nothing that Satan could do to me. You know, God is for me. Who could be against me? You know what I'm saying? I know, I know, I've seen what God can do single handedly. And God will avenge me, you know, in the event that Satan's antichrist or whatever do destroy me. You know what I'm saying? So that's not a problem to me. I'm going to do what I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? For God will. I mean, in God's name. You know what I'm saying? For as long as God allowed me. You know, so I have an expectation of life, not death. You know, God is the God of the living, not the dead. Whatever is in dead, whatever is dead and in the grave, he can't praise and glorify the God, you know, which I still do to this day. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, in spite of everything, including death that I've been through already. So, I mean, what does that mean to me? Not a thing. You know, uh, but, you know, it's something, it's weird and it's strange to me, though. You know, I, you know, it could be like I, I can get impositions or implications in the favor of certain artists or corruption or, you know, whatever is in the facilitation uh, of the covering up of evil, crime, falsehood, and also the erasing of, you know, and the destroyer or the disinvention, you know, of my testimonies of Christ Jesus and my testimony of my talent for God letting it shine in the interest that other people's or the lives of certain influences that were promulgated and spread about me and, my, and disgracing my name before I even had knowledge that it was happening you know what I'm saying so in order to protect that false reality that, that was created from falsehood that was placed in disgrace of my name you got certain it's like satanic antichrist systems or influences or powerful whatever wish to somehow help you know like helping the evil antichrist cover up the truth in my in my reality of my testimonies that's not only is that all man is illegal you know what i'm saying that's immoral then with everything that already been exposed everything that's still continually developing you know it's like it's showing the affirmation of what the bible said and all the things that i had already said i mean it's the antichrist you know antichrist age these are the end times basically just be ready to re just repent you know i tell believers you know just repent because we are in those times you know it's christ jesus that these things that's against me is attacking you know they have you know it's like you say they you mean they have a form of godliness but denying the power thereof that's in the bible you know that's those that you know they have a form of godliness but they're denying the power of god therefore they're going you know they're not saved you know what I'm saying? They display a form of godliness, true, but they're denying the power therein, the power thereof of God. So they're not gods. You know, they're not, they don't belong to God. It's just an image. Hence, you feel me? It's an image, a false image. And that's that's to anything that, you know, embody that, you know, um, anyone who, what I that mean? Because why, you know, I can you know how can we serve the Lord but but deny something that's of Him, that He's proven to be of Him? 
countless times and blessed me in the Holy Spirit by saying it's not of him in order to justify being opposed to him, himself. You know, shunning something of God by saying we love God. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the ultimate domestic terrorism. It's the ultimate de demonic scheme against a person for following the Lord. You know, I mean, I'm not at liberty to be quiet because the reality still exists. You know what I'm saying? I'm not having to fight for just existing as an artist, as an influence, as a brand, as a person. I mean, on one bracket straight, but at the end of the day, that's a part of me. You know? What I work so hard for, just like others work hard to get where they at. You know? Why, you know, why is such judgment, judgment and darkness that just like enrolled my life and my legacy? And then I'm threatened with death over, you know, it's like every little thing is like with nitpick, you know? To find some reason to make it okay in the eyes of people because in the eyes of God it's been wrong, you know? Persecution of me. You know, but hopefully this right here, clear, you know, clear. I clarify the situation, you know. So, you know, don't fear for me. You know, God is in control. You know, of my life because I belong to God and I have belonged to God and they knew I belonged to God from this day all the way back. You know, all the way back to now. So it's like, you know, I man, what else am I supposed to? I mean, my stuff forbidden, and so are the rest of you know, rationally. Because it's something that can be found in anything. Anybody can sit there and pick anything apart if they want to. You know, why me? Because I follow Christ Jesus. You know, and I ain't here to the box of conformity, you know, conforming that Satan and Antichrist and uh, persecution try to put me into. And, you know, let me say, Antichrist is a term that's not resolved to people who haven't discovered Christ Jesus yet. You know, that's not, that's taken out of context. Antichrist are those who know about the Lord. They've seen his power on in the individual life and things. And uh, they've seen, they seen the power of the anointing. They've seen the spirit, you know, on numerous occasions, way beyond belief, but still, you know, willfully do evils to somehow destroy something that's of him in spite of knowing that, you know, incessantly after having the knowledge and being demonstrated the power thereof on numerous occasions, you know, to the point where God allowed him to plug in. That's Antichrist, you know, because it's, it's, it's fighting God and it's like, you know, and still at this day, you know, trying to fight to hide the truth or, you know, and it just affirmed to what I was saying in the beginning of this. So that's the destruction of one's own soul. You know, that's no, that holds no hurt for me because I've done, you know, when any, anybody who speaks the truth is doing the work of evangelist or apostle, you know, anybody out there in the light, the body of Christ doing your job, that's all you can do, you know. But it just, you know, it's like it's a annoying feeling like because, I mean, I live for God, I die for God. I know I've been fighting the righteous fight. You know, I've been fighting the good fight of faith. And I've been standing firm in faith and for what's good and what's right. You know? Is the age is dark and evil. You know? Or something power is. So it be influences that, that they that do that, you know, constantly south and conspire to destroy me, just like what happened to David in the Psalms. You know, it's the same situation, you know. Your persecution of biblical proportions. I ain't whining, you know, or nothing like that. I'm illuminating. It's a difference. To some, it's called talking this and that, but to me, it's illumination because all it is is spreading the light on darkness, you know, after being put into a position of having no other choice just to survive as something. It's person, brand, artist, whatever. He was just trying to conspire, like, because of, you know, just because, I mean, the failure of any type of system or any type of um you know person or influence shouldn't mean the destruction of death for me for speaking on the reality that happened in my life it might just so happen that something that if i'm speaking on something i went through and it was a failure to somebody else's part that it happened that doesn't mean i should be you know that sabotage my life to where i can't that that you know it, i lose all you know um my right to be heard or my right to exist because of somebody else because they mean who's to say that wasn't done on purpose who's to say all of that wasn't being ignored and thing as a part of another you know a bigger purpose you know in order you know to render me into a position to where my life will be sabotaged to a point to where my legacy be erased you know um like so you know it's like a compounding crime that just happens like in spite of 
so, you know, society's knowledge of everything. And it's against Christ Jesus. You know, that's the only reason. Everything else they assimilated me into, which clearly backtrack it shows. You know, but the devil has a, a, a level of of mental, you know, the property, you know, to where it's reprobate. So it's like wisdom and things and knowledge and, 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 and instruction don't register because truth is not in Satan, you know. Man, the devil is a liar. That's as simple as that. I'm of God. God is, the Lord is the truth, the way, and the life. And that's reality. Everything else, Antichrist. Anything that opposes something that's of God like that, you know, blatantly. That's Antichrist. When he won't be able to discern it because it's Antichrist, because it lacked truth. There's no truth in Satan. What's opposite of Christ is darkness. You know? The absence of light is darkness. Wait. It all makes sense. The things be ignored, though, to allow the facilitation of more crime and things against Christ Jesus. Then that's showing you what the lands are, you know, for itself, you know, like, personally. That had nothing to do with me. I was just a victim, you know. So I had to use my pain and turn it creatively. And then the jealous saw that and they and angry, you know, the, the envious gay saw that and got angry because, you know, I did it. Like, I, I made it in spite of, you know. Any crazy, you know, that was out of my hand. That's nothing but the declaration of war, you know. Like if anything else, you know, if, if somebody else, you know, if they if, if, if crime and you know evil could, could be continuously facilitated in the interest of you know abetting or you know somebody else or, or somebody guilty. You know, or trying to find a way, you know, to justify the unjustifiable or, you know, trying to like, you know, justify the wicked and condemn the upright, then that's a declaration of war. But it's a declaration of war on God. It's a war on Christ Jesus that de declared by any Christ forces, any Christ individuals, you know, and that's what's happening right before the eyes of everybody. The plain sight, if that's the case, which it is, you know, given the resistance that I have. You know, just to exist. I mean, my stuff just as good as the next person. Just because I'm not cursing and saying evil stuff don't really mean anything. You feel me? And that's reality. That's what I'm going to stand by to the end. Glory to God.